In this video, we're gonna be talking about the difference that one sensor can make to your truck's power and torque output. I've been doing some dyno testing with my truck. And if you're new here, I've been going to Dyno Pro in Denver. They have a dyno jet. I like using the dyno a lot to do benchmarking. And I ran into something somewhat unintentionally because I was trying to do a comparison of intakes I had, I started to have a mass airflow sensor issue. And so uh, what I discovered that was incredible is just the difference that one sensor can make with these trucks. And, you know, I, I know like new vehicles in general are built like trash. These computers need to get the correct information in order to make decisions. And if they can't do that, you're just gonna see a tremendous decrease in the amount of power you see at your truck. So. A practical application for this is, let's say you buy a used truck. Maybe it has 100,000, maybe it has 200,000 miles. I would go through, especially with these six sevens with the turbos and replace all the sensors that have to do with intake airflow, right? And, and this applies to anybody who is deleted. You should, if you haven't, check your mass airflow sensor, maybe try cleaning it or just replace it if it's over 100,000 miles old because it makes a massive difference. So let's get into those numbers. This run in blue was the run I did with the faulty mass airflow sensor. And you can just see the difference in the, specifically the torque curve. I made 785 foot pounds. My previous run, I was making a, more than 100 foot pounds less. And this was before replacing the mass airflow sensor. I have switched my charts to the uncorrected horsepower. Boosted engines have an unfair advantage from a correction factor because they actually lose the least horsepower at elevation. And this video is being made in Denver. The dyno is in Denver. My point in making this video, change your mass airflow sensor. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna start doing mine every 150,000 miles. The sensor I bought was not a motorcraft. I would recommend you buy a motorcraft, but I was in a pinch. I was like borderline stuck on the side of the highway. So I just went to an O'Reilly's and got some off the shelf brand. Sensors, I think in these trucks are important, whether you're deleted or whether you're not. And if you're deleted and you haven't replaced the sensor in a while, the impact when you're, you have a tuner on your truck is probably even more pronounced because the tuner is trying to turn up your fuel to give you more power. It's gonna have a hard time doing that and making those decisions in the computer if you have a faulty sensor. The horsepower, it was interesting, even with the faulty sensor, it did kind of, the two curves kind of came together, but you did have a gap in horsepower. It was a lot less. I mean, that's only what, it's like 40 horsepower. So, I mean, still, something there. It's incredible what one sensor will do. It's an unfortunate place that we're in that we have to have that. But I, I think it's kind of a double-edged sword because like as much as I hate complexity in these vehicles, they do make a ton of power. So anyway, do your maintenance, change your sensors. The evidence is right here for what one sensor will do to your power and torque curves. We'll see you next time here on Power Stroke Maintenance. Cheers.